welcome to a new episode. Now in the world we have coronavirus all over the world and also Norway are been closing up schools and stuff like that. So I have been very worried about not getting the plates on my M3. So because the DMV could close, who knows? And uh, I actually was that clever, but I got the plates for my M3 and actually two hours after I got these, they closed. So today we're going to install these and we can then legally drive it on the road. I have also been charging up my battery, so that is full. So today we're going to install the battery and get the car out of winter storage. Okay, so now we are going to install the battery we have right here. And you may be wondering, uh, M3s do have the battery in the back, but this is, has been rebuilt and the, like about the only thing that is not been swapped on this is that the battery is still in the front. But that I don't care because less weight in the back means it easier to yeah, drift skid, whatever. So now we're going to take some sandpaper that I have right here and um, like yeah, sand all of the surface area that the battery is going to be touching so we have the best amount of surface. Okay, so the plan for today is to swap out the wheels because here we have winter wheels and those tires I have right here are way too big for the car or the car is like too low. So uh, I am going to today swap to some 19 inch CSL wheels that I got and for those to fit, I don't know if I showed you those on YouTube last year, but to get those to fit because those are quite big, this is 17, so to get 19 to fit, I need to race the car a little bit. That's no problem, this car is sitting on some uh, Black Evolution Super Sport coilovers, so I'm just going to race it a little bit to make those 19 fit, and those will fit very good because those are like CSL replica wheels, and I think those look really good. So that's the plan for today, to get those on so the car will look nice and sharp. Time to try to start up the mighty S54 engine. Here's the key. We got lights. Oh, right away. Started right away. Very good. Mm -mm. We have an airbag lamp. I do not know why we have that. It should be because of with a battery or or something, I don't know. That was kind of strange, that was not there when I put it away in winter storage. Probably a bad sensor or something. Oh, nice, I like this. Sweet. Now I will just let the car warm up for a little bit and then we will drive it outside. Uh -huh. Look at that! Shout out to BOTB, the weekly car competition, for sponsoring this video. BOTB gives away a car every single week to a guaranteed winner and they have over 150 cars to play for. Tickets start at just 1 euros and you have to be 16 or over to enter and although this is a UK based company, anyone in the whole world can enter and win their dream car. You can also actually win a BMW E46 M3 for just a little bit over 1 euro by getting the winning coordinates in Spot the Ball Game. 
each weekly competition closes at midnight on Sunday. So go check out VOTV.com and then you're in with a chance of becoming their next dream car winner. And you can even win 20,000 euros cash in the boots as well. But now, let's get back to the M3 and back to the video. Oh, this feels so strange. Oh my God. Oil temp is good. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. That has been too long. Oh my God. That pulled really good. I've been used to driving the compact for a whole winter with 100 horsepower and now I have 343. Woo! <laughs> that was really something different. Oh my god. That was insane. Now I'm really looking forward to driving this a lot more. This car really makes your adrenaline pump start working again. Oh my god. Okay, so here we have the coilover and now we're gonna have to adjust it a little bit higher so we'll get some better ride heights so we can actually fit my CSL replica wheels. Oh, they look so good. Can't wait to get these on. Okay, to adjust the coilover you need to loosen the bolt down low here. Some coils have that bolt, some don't. Uh, and then you simply just have to turn it around to get the right height you want. I don't know now what kind of right height I want, I only know I want it higher. So I will just raise this space to maybe up here or something. And then hopefully I will get like this amount of more space like here, I hope. So if you want to lower your car, you take this, you give less space here and get it lower or you want it to go higher, you take it up. And in my case, I want it to go higher. So yeah, let's raise it up. To become a better man, sinking in the sand, We don't need the past that lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night, we will sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? Okay, now we went from four centimeters here to actually seven up here. So the gap is a lot more, uh, or uh, uh, more. The gap is a lot longer. Yeah, the gap here is a lot longer as you can see right here. So now we're gonna put the wheel on and see how much, how it looks. I can't compare to the other one because I'm putting 19 inch wheels instead of 17, but hopefully it will be high enough. I hope so. This is way too much gap as you can clearly see but I uh, am going to be happy with this because at least it will not rub so I'm happy with this and I will adjust it later but now it's time to adjust the back as well because we also need to raise the back or the rear 
Okay, to adjust the rear, you have to loosen the shock and then take out the spring. And then you have the adjustable thing uh, on top of the spring that I will show you. So first, take off the shock so you can move all of the hub uh, yeah, loosely, so you can move it. That's the point, so we'll get out the spring. Like that. So now, this is loose. Okay, so the point now, uh, because you loosened the shock, you can now do like this, and you can now remove the spring much easier, or you can move it, remove it. You can't do that with the shock um, connected. Luckily for me, my coilovers are very new. I've not been driving so much with these, so I can actually adjust it by hand instead of uh, using the tool. So I'm going to do that, adjust it down, so the car will be a little bit higher in the rear. So now it's time to pull this back up like this to get that shock on. No, uh, you do not need two people to do this, you need uh, other tools. Okay, so what we're using are like a trans transmission jack or what it's called. So just push it up and then we will make the shock fit the hub. you can tighten it by hand so you know it's not um, like yeah it's going 100% the right way in so you don't destroy it and then yeah just like that Okay, so here on the rear we have two 55, 35, 19 inch tires. In the front I think we had two 35, 35, 19. So these are 10 and a half inch wide in the rear. So that's pretty wide for a normal chassis E46 and uh, normal chassis wheel arches especially. So yeah, really excited to see how this fits. Hopefully now I've adjusted the car so high that it will fit. Uh, hopefully the car does not look too bad with the ride height because I assume it's too high, but yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. That could have been a lot worse. I am happy with that and it looks yeah it's good could have been a little bit lower but i assume if i have like people in the back i will rub so yeah pretty happy about that and i really love those rare wheels because those are so wide and oh i love them looks so good the car looks a lot better with these looks very very good now i like it only thing is that it is a little bit too high in the front but I will have to live with that for a little while and I will lower it soon. Looking good. Mm -mm. Mm, I like that. I like it a lot. Look at that! It's looking so good! Oh my god, those wheels 
fit very good. Even the fronts look good and the rear look even better. Oh, it's such a good feeling to be driving this again. I mean, the difference between 100 horsepower and 343 is huge, really huge. This car feels so much different. It's newer, it's better. Yeah. So much fun. So, today it's been a really good day, and finally I got the new wheels on, and I really like that. It look, look at it, look at it. Ah, oh, it's looking so good. So good. So, yeah. I'm going to end the video here, hope you enjoyed it and like and subscribe if you did and I will see you guys in the next one. Also tell me what kind of videos you want to see with my M3 or for those of you who are new here you know this is a rebuilt M3 not an original one but whatever it still has that mighty S54 engine with 343 horsepower that got that LSD differential, gearbox, everything. So yeah this is a really fun and nice car I'm going to enjoy for a few weeks or months. Now, I don't know yet to be honest, because I don't know if I want to sell it now or if I want to keep it. I have no clue. Look at it! Oh, it looks so good! Mm -mm. I like that. Well, but anyways, see you guys next time. Goodbye.